Growth is my goal. When you're looking at your spouse, you're looking at him or her, you're saying, your growth is my goal. That, that's my aim. I, I, I want to I wanna build you up. I, I want to help you become all that God has destined for you to be. I, I want every single thing that God placed on the inside of you before you were ever even in, when, when you were in your mother's womb, I want to make sure all of that comes to life. I don't want to tear you down. I want to build you up. And I think that it's so important to use that in the right context because sometimes we can use build you up and then that's talking down to the person like, oh, I just want to build you up. Bless your heart. You haven't quite figured that out yet. So let me just build you up right there. For those of you in Texas, bless your heart is another way of saying you're an idiot. <laughs> so it's important that it's in the right context. But I think the heart of what you're saying is to be each other's biggest fans, biggest cheerleaders, to make sure that each other realizes there's no ceiling on your life. There's nothing God can't do in you and through you. I'm for you. I believe in you. I see the hand of God upon your life. When you leave for work, you go crush it. May you have great clients. May you have great breakthrough. When you leave, when you're starting a business, you want to be the type of wife that's like, you're going to be the best business owner ever. You're going to be a model for other businesses when you're about to retire. Honey, this is going to be the next best season of your life. You still got it. You're still gorgeous. You're the hottest grandpa out there speaking life over one another. Yes, yeah. so, so good. Uh, my, uh, I've been in an incubator of encouragement for these 22 years, okay? So if there's anything good about me, it's without a doubt the grace of Almighty God and then His grace displayed through my wife. I, I, I wake up in, um, well, when I wake up, She's I need coffee. She's I need when coffee she first wakes to be up. encouraging. Yes. Yeah. In the morning, Earl comes. So this is something you know. We all have our areas, our many areas. But Earl naturally wakes up happy. You know those people. I don't know if anyone have a spouse like that. But he does not need coffee in the mornings. He literally has joy <laughs> before coffee. And don't judge me, but my joy comes in the morning, but it comes after coffee, and. <laughs> But you are kind enough every morning, he sets the alarm before we go to bed for my coffee pot, brings the coffee in because he's learned the hard way. Because before coffee, sometimes he'll wake up and he's, I want to read my journal to you. God spoke this to my heart. I'm just so excited. And I hear nothing until I have my coffee. So that's when I hear Earl, bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> so I. I've had to learn for sure. Um, he claps in the morning. Who claps in the morning? This one. I think Jesus would have clapped in the morning, honey. I'm just trying to be like my savior. So we, I have been in an incubator of encouragement. After coffee. After coffee, yeah. yes. After, yeah. after my beautiful wife gets her coffee, uh, she is someone that continues to speak life into me. Now, without a doubt, she's the one that sees all of my flaws, uh, sees all of my shortcomings. Uh, she's the one that, that helps tweak me the most. There's no doubt about it. Um, but even with all the, the flaws that I have and all of my shortcomings, uh, this woman that's sitting by my side is without a doubt my biggest fan. And to see her pour so much hope, so much life, so much vision, so much strength into me, for her to be the first one to, to say, hey, I, I believe in you. I, I'm just telling you, for these, these 22 years, I have been in an incubator of encouragement. If I'm not a halfway decent person by now, there is no hope for me. <laughs> I, I'm so, so thankful that she goes out of her way to find a way to build me up. And we're just trying to paint a picture uh, in, in all of our relationships, and all of our marriages, even with, for those of us who have kids. Yes, of course, there's truth. There's no doubt about that. When indiv an individ individual makes a mistake and, and messes up, oh, man, we, we got to attack that stuff. We got we to gotta attack it with grace. Uh, we know that grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. So, so you, you got to have both of those things in, in any healthy relationship. But, but I feel like so many times we're so into the truth and we're so into into being right, and we're so into making sure we, we get our point across that we forget this grace piece, this incubator of encouragement, this, hey, you've got this, this empowerment, this, I, I want to make sure you become all that God has destined for you to be. 